Welcome to ProjectCAD Basics for Beginners. This is Understanding the User Interface. To find links to any downloadable resources available for this video, make sure to check the description box below. You'll launch ProjectCAD like any other program on your computer. Double click the desktop icon or right click on it and choose Open. You'll initially get a dialog box asking you which ribbon settings you want to use. For now, we'll be using Ribbon Beginner, but don't worry, you can change it at any time. There's also a checkbox in the lower left corner allowing you to suppress this dialog once you get comfortable. If this is your first time opening ProjectCAD, you'll also get a dialog asking if you want to associate it with DWG files. We suggest that you do. ProjectCAD will continue to open fully and will initially display the start page. It consists of three parts. Let's take a closer look at those from left to right. The left panel contains easy to use buttons to open your DWG files, start a new drawing, or contact our online support. The new drawing also gives you a pull down menu to allow you to choose from one of our supplied templates or those that you may create yourself. Curious about what is new in the 2026 version? Just click on the large What's New image to go to its page on our website. In the middle of the start page are thumbnails of your recent documents. Initially, you'll see six various sample files. Just click on a thumbnail to open the file. And on the right, we have some informative getting started videos. Clicking on one will start the video in your default web browser. For this video, I want to start with a blank new drawing, so I'll click on the new drawing button and accept the default template. Let's look at the various elements of the ProjectCAD user interface. I'll start at the upper left and generally work my way across and then down. The big ProjectCAD icon in the upper left corner is called the Application Menu. Click on it to open a menu of various file utility tools, including your recent documents list. Just to the right of the Application Menu, you'll see the Quick Access Toolbar, often called the QAT. This customizable menu will be displayed at all times no matter what task you're performing, allowing quick access to frequently used tools. Finally, to its far right is the title bar, which shows you the product and current drawing name. In the corner, you'll find the typical minimize, maximize, and close icons. Starting just below the QAT, you'll find the menu bar, which contains grouped pull-down menus for accessing your commands. Below that, you'll see the ribbon menu. I'll explain more about that in a moment. Continuing to work our way down, below the ribbon are your file tabs. Each drawing you currently have open has its own tab. If you have more files open than the display area can handle, you can find them in the overflow menu available from the down arrow on the far right side. This brings us to the drawing editor. By default, there are two palettes open, docked to the left and to the right sides. You'll see your cursor here, along with some visualization and navigation tools. Just below the drawing editor, you'll find the layout tabs, which are specific to the current file. The ProjectCAD command line is below that. And finally, below the command line, you'll find the status bar on the right side. ProjectCAD is a command-driven software, and by that I mean you issue various commands to interact with the drawing editor to accomplish your tasks. Let's look at some of the ways you'll interact with accessing these commands. The most common method is via the ribbon. The ribbon consists of tabs, and within those tabs are panels that contain the icons for your commands. You can start a command by clicking on the icon. Some commands have multiple options indicated by a down arrow below the icon. If the panel name has a down icon next to it, you can click on it to access additional commands. Depending on your activity, you may also get a contextual ribbon tab that contains command options that you may use. Here. I'm creating some text, and you can see the Text Editor tab displayed and activated. You can always directly enter the name of the command in either the command line or the dynamic input prompt, as long as that method is enabled. For both methods, the autocomplete option automatically displays a list of commands that match the typed characters. For either method, it's important to remember that the spacebar works like the Enter key in ProjectCAD. Also, at the command prompt, either will repeat the last command entered. 
Another common method of accessing the command is the Quick Access Toolbar. These commands will always be displayed regardless of which ribbon tab you are in. You can customize the displayed commands by either clicking the down arrow icon to the right of the QAT and checking or unchecking items. If there is a command that you'd like to have in the QAT, but it's not listed, just right click on the main icon and choose Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Right clicking on a displayed command icon in the QAT will also allow you to remove it. Another command entry method is via right click pop up menus. There are two kinds of these. The standard menu will display when you right click anywhere in the drawing editor. You'll get the same command options every time. You can also select an entity and right click, which will display a contextual pop up menu that will show you options for the type of entity you have selected. You'll often access the status bar during your work. These tools are generally on off toggles for drafting aids. An icon's blue background indicates it is on. Many of these toggles are also mapped to your keyboard's function keys, such as F8, which toggles ortho mode. Project Add has a number of palettes that can be displayed. All palettes have the same set of display options. Here, I'll drag the tool palette into the drawing editor by left clicking and holding the mouse key down after clicking on the title bar of the palette. Right click on the title bar of the floating palette to display the palette options. I'll drag the palette back to the right side, and when it's close enough, it will snap into its anchored position. I'll drag it back out and right click on the title bar again. This time I choose Dock to Right. The palette will again be moved to the right side, but now it's in a collapsed state. Simply roll over the palette to expand it. Using this method, you can have multiple palettes available to you on either side of the screen, thus increasing your screen space while still having your favorite palettes readily available. We began this video by discussing launching Project Ad, opening drawing files, or creating new ones. During the course of your work, or at the end of it, you'll need to save what you've done. There is the typical diskette icon in the QAT that you can use. The Save command is also in the Application menu. You can also find it in the File tab's right-click menu. Its alias is SA, and the shortcut keys are Control-S. If your drawing has a name, it saves it to the same name and location. If it doesn't, you'll get a dialog prompting you to rename it. Should you need to save your current file to a new drawing name, there is a Save As command as well. This will also let you choose a previous format for your drawing file if you wish. ProjectCAD also has some automatic saving functions for safety. Each time you open or save a drawing, a backup file is created. It is a snapshot of your drawing at that time, has a BAK extension, and is saved in the same folder as your drawing. ProjectCAD also has an incremental autosave file. By default, this file is created every 15 minutes and placed in your system's temp folder. Should Project Ad close unexpectedly, you'll be presented with an opportunity to recover it when you return to the program. You can find out more information, download their 30-day free trial, or purchase your own Project Ad license at www.projectad.com.